What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the brand new WAN 2.2 video models and how they represent a significant leap over the previous versions. At its core WAN 2.2 uses a clever mixture of experts architecture. Think of it as having two specialists working together. One sketches out the main structure and movement of the video, while the other comes in to polish all the fine details, lighting and textures. This approach combined with being trained on vastly more video and image data results in sharper, more consistent and professional looking videos. One of the most interesting new abilities of these models is that they can function as incredible standalone image generators. If you saw my previous video on the WAN cell forcing model, you'll know we could generate images with it. But the quality with these new 2.2 models is on another level. I've put together a custom text to image workflow using these new WAN 2.2 models that I think you'll love. It includes an upscaling node and is available for free over on my Patreon page, which I'll have linked down in the comments. I will say, this new workflow is a bit slower than the one using the self-forcing models, but the jump in image quality is definitely worth the extra time. But aside from that, this video will focus on how to set up the new WAN 2.2 video generation models right inside Comfy UI. I have put together a simple all-in-one text-to-video and image-to-video workflow to get you started. It uses the quantized WAN 2.214B GGUF model and a lightweight GGUF clip model, specifically chosen for faster generations on devices with lower VRAM. The workflow also integrates the notable Kaiji WAN 2.1 Lite 2XV LoRa model. This LoRa is key because it dramatically reduces the required steps and CFG setting down to as low as 4 to 8 steps and a CFG of 1, giving us much faster generation times while keeping the quality impressive. This setup should be usable on lower VRAM devices. For example, on my laptop with a 6GB RTX 4050 card, I can generate 480p, 2 to 3 second videos in about 10 to 15 minutes. While the workflow is compatible with larger WAN models, to make this accessible to as many people as possible, I'm going to walk you through the manual setup of the 14B3KS quantized GGUF model in Comfy UI. This should be able to run on hardware with as little as 6GB of VRAM. I'll also show you a run pod template that will allow you to run the larger WAN models, which need more power on faster cloud GPUs without any hassle. And for my Patreon members, I will also include a one-click Windows installer with both the text-to-image and the text-to-video workflows that will download and set up everything you need to get this running. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. Alright, so let's get this set up. First, for my Patreon members, if you opted to use the one-click Windows installer, the process is incredibly straightforward. All you need to do is download the WAN 2.2 video generation Comfy UI batch file from the Patreon post. Place that file in a separate, dedicated folder for this project, and then just double-click it to start the installation. This script will automatically download and install everything you need. ComfyUI itself, all the required custom nodes and the necessary models all organized neatly in that folder. Once the installer finishes, just start up ComfyUI. The web UI should open automatically in your browser. From there, all you have to do is load the workflow file from the Patreon post into the Comfy UI interface, and you're ready to go. Now, if you're installing this manually, you will of course need a base installation of Comfy UI and the Comfy UI Manager, which makes installing all the other nodes for this project much easier. If you're on Windows, you can just download the portable Comfy UI zip file from their official repository. This comes with everything needed to run. Just extract the contents using a file archiver like 7-zip. To install the Comfy UI Manager, you'll want to open up a terminal or command prompt, navigate into your Comfy UI custom nodes directory, and then get clone the Comfy UI Manager repository right into that folder.
If you're using that portable Windows version, navigate back to the main Comfy UI directory, the one that contains the Python embedded folder, and run the command I'm showing on screen now. This will make sure all the dependencies for the manager are installed correctly within Comfy UI's own Python environment. I will leave all these commands and links in a written installation guide, which will be linked down in the description. Before we start Comfy UI, we still need to download our models. Specifically, we need the WAN 2.214B GGUF quantized model, our efficient GGUF UMT clip model, the WAN 2.1 Lite 2 XV LoRa model, and a VAE model. I'll have all the links for the models in that same written guide down in the description. To get the main video model, head over to the Quant Stack Hugging Face page. You can decide here whether you want the text to video or the image to video model. Once on the page, go to the Files and Versions tab and navigate into the Low Noise folder. In there, you'll see different quantized versions. For my testing on a 6GB RTX card, I found that the 3K SGGUF model, despite being a lower quant, still provides decent results. If you have more VRAM, I would definitely suggest grabbing a larger quant for potentially even better quality. For our clip model, we'll go to the City96 UMT5 Encoder GGUF Hugging Face page and download the 5K MGGUF clip model. This one is great for reducing VRAM usage while using your system RAM for extra processing power. For the LoRa and Upscale models, I've conveniently uploaded the necessary files, including the WAN 2.1 Lite LoRa, to my own Hugging Face repositories. Just head to those pages and download the models. We can grab the VAE model from within the Comfy UI Manager a bit later. Once you have the models downloaded, we need to place them in the correct folders inside your Comfy UI directory. Drag the WAN 2.214 BGGUF model into your models slash Annette's folder. The UMT clip GGUF model into your models clip folder. The LoRa model into the models LoRa's folder. And the upscale model into the models upscale models folder. Now we can start up Comfy UI. Download the workflow from the link in the description and load it in. If you see any red nodes, that just means you're missing some custom nodes. Go to the Comfy UI Manager, click Install Missing Nodes, and install what's needed one by one. Okay, while we're here, we can also download our WAN VAE model as well. Head into the Models Manager tab and do a quick search for WAN VAE and download the WAN 2.1 VAE model. After that, just click the Restart button at the bottom of the Manager to finalize the installation. Once everything is installed and reloaded, check your model loader nodes. Click the drop-down arrows to select the correct models for each node just to make sure everything is being recognized properly. Now, if you plan to use a full diffusion model instead of a GGUF, you'll need to enable the diffusion model loader node first, connect its purple model output to the power LoRa node, and then bypass the load GGUF unit node by right-clicking it and selecting bypass. For this demonstration, however, we'll stick with our WAN 2.214B GGUF model to get those faster speeds on a lower VRAM device. The workflow has a dual function for text-to-video and image-to-video. To switch between them, just use the Fast Groups Bypasser node on the left of the workflow to enable or disable the section you want to use. You can also choose to enable or disable upscaling, but keep in mind that this will add a few more minutes to your generation time. As it is, the workflow comes loaded with that WAN 2.1 Lite 2 XV LoRa which, as I mentioned, drastically cuts down on the required steps in CFG, allowing for much faster generation while keeping the quality high. When writing your prompt, try to be as detailed as possible. These WAN models were trained with long, descriptive prompts, so the more detail you provide, the better the model can craft an output that matches your vision. 
If you're on a low VRAM device, I advise that you lower your resolution size and video length in order to reduce wait times during generations. After that, you can click the Run button to start generating. I've personally tweaked some of the default settings, like changing the sampler to Euler Ancestral and the scheduler to SGI Uniform, as I found these gave me some of the best results during my testing. If you get an allocation on device error during the negative prompt, which usually means you ran out of memory, just click Run again without restarting. Sometimes Comfy UI hangs during encoding but often continues or bypasses the memory error if you retry the generation. The workflow was built with low VRAM and speed in mind, but feel free to tweak any settings to see if you can improve your results further. On my RTX 4050 with 6 GB of VRAM, generations typically take between 10 to 15 minutes, with image to video being noticeably longer. Finally, I also created a run pod template if you need more compute power to run the larger WAN 2.2 models or the full diffusion models at faster speeds. Run pod has everything from H100s to RTX 4090s. Simply click the run pod template link in the description. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. From there, select a GPU. I'd recommend something with at least 24 GB of VRAM like an RTX 4090 for the best experience. You can edit the template to adjust the storage if needed, then click Deploy. The pod will take about 10 to 15 minutes to build and install everything. You can monitor the progress in the Logs tab. When you see the final script showing a local URL, you'll know it's ready. A good rule of thumb is when the pod storage usage hits around 68-71%, the installation is complete. Once everything has finished installing, click the Connect button. The template includes built-in access to JupyterLab, making it easy to access ComfyUI's project files. Simply tap the JupyterLab Connect button to open the JupyterLab interface. Now you can go back to the Pods Connect service menu and tap on the Comfy UI button to open the Comfy UI interface. And that will launch the latest version of the Comfy UI interface right there in your web browser. Now that we have our Comfy UI interface up and running, all that's left to do is upload our workflow and start generating. And that pretty much wraps it up. We've gone through how to get the incredible new WAN 2.2 models up and running in a few different ways. I'm really excited to see what you all create with this. If you'd like me to put together a dedicated image-to-image -image workflow using these new models, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.